monitoring for compliance with the PCC stop and watch alerts. This section is for the DONs and ADONs on how they can monitor compliance with the charge nurses following up on residents that have had a stop and watch alert initiated for them. Fairly simple to do. You log in the PCC. This is your home screen. And you're going to click on clinical. You're going to come over and you're going to click on reports. And you want to click on the alert listing report. Comes to the reporting screen. <coughs> In this report, you're going to have to run each unit uh, individually. So, for example, here you would have to run 100 hall, run a report on the alerts for that 100 hall, then run a report for 200, 300, etc., until you complete all of the units. The floor, you can leave that, it's going to default to all. Also, you want to leave this blank so you can get all residents on that unit. Uh, we can report on all alerts, and this automatically is checked for simple alerts and complex alerts. But you want to come over here to include cleared alerts and place a check mark there. One important thing here you want to be sure and include the cleared alerts. The charge nurses in their training are not being trained to clear the alerts. I want you as the uh, director of nurses or ADON to clear those alerts. The charge nurses have the capability, but we're not training them on it. Just so we can catch things that they may be clearing out hoping that no one will see, you need to include the cleared alerts. Then you need to go to the effective date. I feel that the most effective way to check compliance is to run a report of the prior day's alerts. And so on the calendars, you would just choose uh, the to and from dates. You can either type in the uh, date there, or you can click the calendar and select the date that way. You can sort by the resident's name or the alert. Probably better for the resident's name. And you can leave filter by as all. So then you'll come over here. You're going to run the report. A new screen will pop up, a new window. And you will be able to see all of the alerts for the resident. So Anna Banana had these alerts going to give you the date and time of when that alert was triggered and what the alert description is. It also gives the resident's room number. I think the best way to monitor compliance is to print this form out. You can then take this, this piece of paper to the nurse's station and you can check off and see that the charge nurse followed up on these items. Did they make an S bar? Did they contact the physician? What did they do when the CNA alerted them to this resident change? That's what you should be looking for. So we'll click out of this and again you have to do each hall individually. You can leave all the information the same. Say run report. On 200 hall there were no alerts for this facility. Then you can click out of that. And that's um, the way to monitor for compliance. Now in the next step, I'm going to show you how to clear those alerts. Because as DON or ADON, you uh, will be responsible for clearing the alerts once you verify that there was follow-up related to that stop and watch alert. So how you do that is you go to the dashboard here in the gold bar. To the dashboard and you can see again all the alerts that have been triggered. 
for every one of these alerts, every one of these residents have been has had proper follow-up, then we can clear them. And what you're going to do is you can individually clear them by clicking one at a time, or you can just check all. It's going to ask you have all the care paths uh, been followed prior to clearing the oh, selected alerts. Hit OK. And then you're going to click clear alerts. Again, yeah, it's going to ask you have all the care paths been followed. Pretty much has has follow-up been done for that resident regarding this alert. Hit OK. And now you have cleared your alerts. Throughout the day you can go through and also check the dashboard to make sure that if any alerts have popped up. And if you want, you can go review that resident's chart while the, the charge nurse is still on shift and, and see what has been done for that resident regarding that um, stop and watch alert.